Looking at Mr. Hoover Lux's enviable workbench, I can't help but notice that down the bottom, it's not filthy, but it's on, wherever everything falls off the front of the bench, it is quite dirty, I suppose, bitty. And it is a good vacuum. And there is a vacuum or two in this workshop. I think we should have all of those off, give it all a good clean, and put some back. Should we do it? Oh, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Whilst I wait for my hot glue gun bod, that I'm currently filming up for this here. I think we should have a bit of a tidy up around here because you can see where all of the dirt falls off of his bench straight onto all of these cleaners. So while I'm on my own, with a bit of time to kill, give it a bit of a tidy up for him, couldn't we? Now this rings a bell, this mealer used to be mine. I won't be putting this together myself, although I'm, I'm hoping Mr. Hoover like this, will put it together for me and we can have a look. Mid Ned Major did like mine. Did like mine indeed, although this doesn't seem to be molded. Oh, the wheels are missing their, their tyres. It works okay like that though. So there we go. Oh, nice Panasonic with the early child killing brush roll edge strips. Oh. Put that there. What have we got here? We have a Mila S7. And the hose isn't in place on there. There we go. Uh, that's probably why the hose wasn't in place. Mine did this. It stretches. I'd like to take that back out in a bit. Do we have another Mila S7 here. There they are. Hoover Celebrity USA. A the boss bagless, bagless bagged soft bag job. Right, I think that'll do us for now. The only question is, which vacuum to use? I think I want to use this Fakir Combi because it looks good fun. So we'll have a go with this. Oh, can I reach the power socket? This is down the side of it. In fact, there's a plug up here. We'll just use this one. That's here. Never used the Fakir before. Good, it does have a bag in it. That's not the first time I've bothered about this. This is a very nice little thing.
Okay, we can start putting stuff back now. Ish. Oh, a little bit dusty. Oh, come on, she'll wrap around those okay. Well, that's fine, that's all we need. We put that next. I think this DCO one looks quite nice. I think we should put the DCO one here now. And I'll tuck this floor tool up out of the way, maybe so it doesn't get damaged. Ooh. What else have we got? Well, he now has the X Beco Turbo Power 3, which is I don't particularly want it anymore. I think it does. <laughs> We have pure power here. That would look quite nice next to its turbo power breath because obviously this turbo power 3 turned into the pure power. <laughs> has the activator brush on as well, although a very warm one, admittedly. Right, can go here. Right, now we're looking on camera, let me just double check. <sighs> look at that though. It's looking quite nice already. This junior can come back because that, that works quite well. He liked that one, he does. He told me. He said he liked it. <laughs> generation top cord hook before they very quickly revise that out because they broke everywhere so we don't want to break it so we'll just leave that there like so we'll put the Panasonic back I'm going to see if he notices you see because he's at work at the minute so we'll see if he actually notices 
Slack from my 1996 pen. These are I am using. Now we just need to do this side of the bench. There's not as much here, so. Oh, hello. I'm presuming they should clip there. Possibly like so. Yes. Oh, in fact, maybe we should put a rainbow with no tools here under the Hoover Lux channel logo. We need to be able to see it. Dust, you see, from doing stuff. I had to do my mum's bedroom. I had to spend an hour or two just giving that a good clean quite regularly, just because it gets so filthy. Now, so this is scrap. So I don't quite know. It doesn't really need to go there for scrap, does it? So I'll move that over there. Gosh, this is a big old hexa. This Victor Europa. I'll play without that later. Crikey. Well, that's such a massive vacuum. It's such a little stupid brush rod. Oh, they're a bit meaty though. So we'll pop that there for a second. We need to move this again and we'll just vacuum off into this corner using the very nice Fakir combi. created this so I think it should go we even signed it it's a limited edition serial number 001 I'll pop that there although he'll probably get rid of it soon and I do not blame him for it at all what else have we got well the boot name major is very nice we shall pop that back there Give his Panasonic icon a bit of a showcase that can go there. Then we've got one more vacuum to put over there. Not pure power, won't get Kirby. I know, I'll put the Hoover Free Motion Freedom, whatever it is, that I unboxed with him there. Like so. There we go. That's a little bit better. Right, it's a little bit more tidy, and I'll show you what I've done. When we finish, look at that look. So I like that is. Hopefully he'll like it. It's all done. The Fakir Premium or Fakir Electrical or Fakir Combi, whatever you want to call it, is lovely. We're going to see if he notices because he won't see this video for months. A new lineup under his bench. I've also had a little bit of a tidy up so I could vacuum the carpet with this lovely, lovely thing. And now 
I'm going to carry on with this Electrolux that I was doing to start with before I needed to wait for something to dry. So, thank you very much for watching. Let's tidy up Hoover Lux's garage. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.